friends. I am here in my virtual classroom and um, I'll show you a little bit about of it. So we've got some books over here. We've got our frog weirros up there. My train whistle. And a kalimba. Look, it's my puppet friends. And today I thought I would make a few um, different instruments from some recycled materials. So you don't have to make exactly what I make, but you could use these to kind of give you some ideas of some instruments that you could make. So everything that I have today is things that would have been going into the recycling on one day. So I've got a round cheese container. I think I'm going to use both of these for something different. I've got an old medicine bottle, an old cream bottle that had some face moisturizer, some rubber bands, and these are some chia seeds and some rice. So let's see what we can make. So first I'm going to experiment with making some different kinds of shakers. So I'm going to use um, my old medicine bottle and my old moisturizer bottle and um, see what I can make. The medicine one is made out of plastic and this one is also made out of plastic but it's a little bit um, thicker and it has a, like a different inside. So we'll see. We'll see which sounds the different what the different sounds are okay so I think I think I'm gonna put in this one I'm gonna put some chia seeds I hope I'm saying that correctly I never know so I'm gonna open it up Sounds pretty good. Okay, so that's that one. Now I think with this one, I'll try some rice. You might need some help with this. Otherwise you can make a big mess if you try it at home. Already making a mess. Nice and tight. I think um, this one, oh hi Thea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, as I was saying, I think this one is definitely quieter. I think that has to do with the fact that um, it's basically got two layers. So if you can kind of see, it's got like that outer layer of plastic and then that white inner layer. So I think that's kind of muting the sound. It's also smaller, so it doesn't have as much room for the seeds or the rice to, to move in there. I think this one is a bit louder because it's, got a, it's a little bit thinner plastic and it's got a bit more room, so it's gonna sound a little bit deeper and lower as well. So there are some shakers. Okay. Now, I'm going to use um, one of these to make a little guitar. 
So let's see how it works. I've got some different um, rubber bands. So I've got different thickness levels. So these two are pretty thick. This one's kind of thick, it's not as long. This one's about medium. It's kind of smaller. And we'll see if this one works, it's really small. So we'll see. It's already kind of bending in a weird way. Makes a pretty good sound though. Try this one next. It's pretty good too. them out a little bit. So that's one way. I might try some different kind of boxes too. Hi friends. Okay, so this is my last one for us and I'm gonna teach you how to make a tambourine or a kind of shaker tambourine. So all you need are two paper plates. Mine are happy birthday paper plates. Some hard pasta. Macaroni pasta works really well. Um, some glue or a stapler. Some yarn if you've got some. It's optional. Scissors. And a hole puncher if you've got it. It's optional. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a few pieces of macaroni into one of the plates, like so. And then I'm going to put the other plate on top. Now you can staple them, you can glue them, um, up to you. Just make sure that however you do it, it's closed really tight and that way the macaroni won't come out. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got it all glued in and it's not gonna go anywhere. So, now this is the optional part if you wanna add some decoration. I happen to have in my house um, a few little bells. So I thought I could put some of those on. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the edges and I'm gonna make some little holes with my hole puncher. You might need some help with this. I might need some help with this. Oh my. <laughs> Let's see if Miss Meads can get this. I'll be back. Okay, 
so I learned a little something. You should hole punch the plates by themselves first, and then you should staple them together because I had to use a needle and sew it through. So I would do that. I would hole punch it first and then place the plates together where the holes align and then you can staple it or, or glue it down. Okay, so regardless, I have my string through and so I can start, I can put on, I might make it a little bit smaller. Or maybe not, maybe I want some tassels with it. It's up to you. I can put on a jingle bell. Okay, so after some trial and error, I got my um, bells on. there's a tambourine. You don't have to have the bells. Um, you could, instead, you could put some beads on if you wanted to string some beads. It kind of looks nice with the little tassels on the side. But yeah, you can make a tramp, uh, tambourine out of just two paper plates and some macaroni. And then you can um, use it to play a song, like a rhythm to a song on a radio or something. And you could send it to me. I would love to hear it. Okay, bye! teacher she's yeah <laughs> oh goodness Fia can you get out of the shot go on go on this is really helpful thank you Fia very helpful